Hello, Aries, and welcome to Intuitive Clarity by Allison Nichols. Aries, this is going to be your general December uh, tarot forecast. So do remember that it is general. So if it doesn't resonate with you, um, please check out your moon and rising sign. And if you're on the cusp, check out that sign as well. Um, I, while I'm shuffling the cards, I'd like to invite you to um, visit my website. The link below will take you to the front page, and from there you can book your own personal intuitive clarity reading. Um, there's different minute packages that you can purchase, and as my gift to you through the holidays, I am discounting every reading down $10. There's no coupon code, so it's pretty easy. You just click on Click on the one that the minute package that you're interested in. Uh, shoot me an email. We'll set up a time and figure out what works out best for each of us. So with that being said, let's see what's happening for Aries for December 2018. I hope everybody is having good, great holidays if you celebrate. Okay, well, it starts off with some new love. Um, we have the Page of Cups, which is great. So he can be um, a lot of things. He actually could be represent a child. He represents a water sign. He's Cups. Um, and it is a new, and it, it's also creativity. So there could be a new creative project coming your way, or there could even be a new um, infatuation that, that is going on, a new um, spark of romance happening. So we'll do clarification and find out, but let's see what happens here. Interesting, the second half we get the emperor. And um, he's a very strong guy. He is con um, in control. He is a ruler. He's the emperor. Um, and he basically doesn't see it as um, gray. It's black or white. Um, he rules by policy. He rules by law. Um, so when I get him, it could um, represent something happening legally. It could represent um, perhaps you're an attorney um, and this is about your work or you work with in-law. We'll do some clarification and see what's going on. The energy of um, the month that you're walking into with is, as far as numerology, Aries is a three. So it's about building uh, your tribe, adding to um, either adding like a, a new social organization. Um, it could be uh, adding someone to your team at work, uh, just in general. Now, interesting, because I have the Page of Cups and I have three as an energy, the Page of Cups can mean... Um, a new child coming your way. So it could even be that there is a new um, child that you're adding to uh, your your world. So um, three designates that as well. So we will find out what is going on here. Aries. Uh, okay, um, let me do one last clarification here before I start. Oopsie. Okay, okay so it looks like um, it took a turn. It took a little turn here, Aries. Um, we got the snake um, to clarify, and I think I might even do another row yet, um, to clarify my page of cups. Um, and of course, the snake is exactly what you would think it would be. It is um, someone that you can't trust. Um, there is something going on behind the scenes. And then I got the another three. Um, we're all about three. So it's a lack of celebration. Um, so this could be, and this is why I want to do another clarification card. This could be if you were trying to um, get pregnant, 
per, perhaps this is not the month that it's going to happen. There might be a bit of a disappointment. There's a lack of celebration. Um, it could be the opposite. It could be um, that you are not there is a new um, child coming into your life um, that you're not happy about, not necessarily happy about, you're not necessarily celebrating it. Um, so uh, I'm going to do one more clarification card on that and see what that's all about. Now, I get family quarrels um, with the emperor, and then I get um, the queen of pentacles, oysters, um, but she's reversed. So... I believe there's some family quarrels going on about this, all right? Um, perhaps if you if it is you that is um, bringing a new child or a new person, a new love, it doesn't necessarily have to be a child, a new love um, into your family, there's a lot of quarreling about it. Um, your, your, mom, your parents or older folks um, are not happy about it. So let me do one more clarifying card because I want to see what this is all about here. The Queen of Pentacles, she is um, all about family as well. Uh, she normally stands for Virgo. Um, she's normally my card that represents the sign Virgo which is very much about family and um, she, because she's reversed, she is not happy. And with the, in between um, her and the emperor with the family quarrels, it's, it's apparent that this has clearly something to do with family here. Um, older family, parents, um, Oh. Uh, okay. So um, I got the lady here. So what this is telling me basically is um, whoever or what what this is about is is represented by a female. So if this is a new um, love coming your way or a new um, family member coming into your world, um, she's not happy about it, all right? Um, which would also represent what just happened here with my queen of pentacles and um, my heart. Um, she's she's upset. Her heart is, is a bit broken about this celebration that's going on over here. Um, so she is the one who is the least happy about this, okay? About this new um, emotional person coming into your world. So I'm going to do one last uh, uh, numerology to see how you're feeling going into January. It looks like it might be a bit upsetting. I do believe it is um, over a new um, love coming into your life. It's causing a lot of family chaos. It's it's hurt. It's breaking someone's heart here um, because of all the quarreling that's going on at the end of December. Um, so let me do one last numerology on this and then another clarification card. Um, I'm going to do these, I think, and see how you're feeling going into the new year here. So we started with three, um, which was adding there again. Um, let's see. Seven. Okay. Well, that's good. Actually, you're going into January with the um, energy of the number seven. Uh, the number seven is pretty magical, actually. It's a time of um, reflecting. It's it's a time where you're deciding. Um, you're kind of looking back. 
um, over what has previously happened and uh, making decisions about moving on, all right, to the next phase. So that actually kind of makes perfect sense, especially if there is some type of a love um, or a new um, romance or new family member coming in to your world, you would be moving forward uh, in, in some ways. So uh, it, is, it is about moving on. It's about um, reflecting on the past. It's very spiritual also. Um, seven is a very good number for intuition as well. So um, use your intuition if you're having um, these problems going on, if there's a lot of family quarrels, um, use your intuition and let it guide you. Ask for guidance because with sevens comes a lot of guidance. Sorry. I'm dropping cards. I am so sorry. I'm in a tight spot. <laughs> Um, this time, so I had to change rooms. So there we go. Yeah, I'll be darned. Okay, here we are. We're six. So moving on. All right. So you are taking um, six of swords is all about moving on. It is taking your troubles with you. You see, he's not leaving them behind. So, um, but he is. He is going to move on. Um. So even though this is all very stressful, it seems it appears like it's a bit stressful. Um, you are in the end of the month and going into the new year. You are ready to just take all of this um, and move forward and try to solve it. Oftentimes, this is um, moving somewhere where you can handle your problems better as well, right? Going in a direction where your hand your Troubles are easier to handle, all right? Swords are um, about communication, troubles, worries, uh, very thought-provoking um, thought car, uh, thought-provoking suit. So uh, you are ready to move into um, handling your problems. So whatever these problems are going on in December, you're actually going into January uh, ready to tackle them. So that is uh, good news. Sixes also, um, Aries, are um, victory. So six is a great number for victory, and it is a great number for taking what you know and moving forward with it. All right. So um, I just want you to have a great December. This is what I have for you. Um, please like, share, subscribe, do all the things. And um, of course, I would love to do a reading for you. If you have questions, even if um, you just any questions whatsoever about how the reading works, just please email me um, through the website. Click on the link below. It'll take you. You can even comment there if you have questions. I'll answer them. So uh, with all of that, I want you to have a fabulous holiday if you celebrate. I want you to have a great December. Um, take it easy. Don't stress too much with um, what's going on with the family. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Um, so as always, Aries, I'm sending loving energy your way. Bye-bye.